Hi everybody! The LuxLens Winter Presets are out for Lightroom and Photoshop, and we're going to take a look at a few examples of what this package has to offer and a couple different ways that you can apply them to your own photos. I'm really excited about this bundle because one, these presets are absolutely fantastic in what they accomplish in very little time, and two, they've been released right on time for my winter photo shoots, which is infinitely convenient for anyone out there who's going to be taking pictures around the holidays. While the preset collection is absolutely ideal for winter shoots, it's also a very powerful tool for any photographs that you'd like to emphasize cooler color tones. Now there's a lot being offered in this package and I'm just going to give you a basic overview using a couple of example images that you'll find on the website. The bundle comes with three different kinds of assets. First you have your global adjustments, which will affect the entire image. Then you have the tool adjustments, which can be applied on top of the global adjustments or they can be used independently. And finally, you have a long list of brushes that you can use to apply localized effects to your image. So we're going to start with this first photo, which is a really great picture to begin with, but we're going to make it infinitely better. First, you'll notice that the picture is clearly being taken in a cold, wintry environment. There's snow all over the place. There's a little bit of a rose color in the boy's cheeks. But the problem is, is that the image itself is not really communicating the cold of winter to the viewer. There are a couple of reasons for that. First and foremost, when you have a warm body person in a cold environment, there need to be colors communicating those differences in temperature. Here all the colors are fairly bland, and it confuses the viewer into thinking that the boy is too cold and the environment is too warm. Also you'll see that the boy's hat is this really great blue color that leaves the remainder of the image looking warm in comparison. As a photographer, I love the color of that blue and I don't want to compromise it for the sake of the rest of the image. So we're going to correct that in just a couple clicks. So we're going to start by coming over here to our presets and opening the Let It Snow preset collection. Moving the cursor over the presets, you'll see the preview pop up in the navigation window. There are several of these that work great with this image, but I'm going to use the Winter HDR preset. So already you can see that all those bland tones have been dramatically improved upon. If you look over to the right side of the screen under the Basic Adjustments tab, you'll see all the adjustments being made by the preset we're using. All of these adjustments are up for grabs. You can strengthen or weaken any of the effects you choose. By and large, I'm going to leave it where it is. But one thing that's important to keep in mind when using Lightroom presets or Photoshop Actions is that presets and actions are not algorithms that are reading any of the unique qualities of a given photo. Instead, they are applying specific changes to a photo without any consideration for lighting, white balance, saturation, etc. So what will sometimes happen if the raw photo you're using had a good exposure is the image may appear to be overexposed. You'll notice the exposure settings have not changed with this preset, but the shadows have been lightened and the contrast has been intensified. So what we can do to cater the preset to the image is turn the exposure down just a little bit to make the preset a custom fit to your photo. So here we'll bring it down just slightly to negative 0.15, so the exposure is just a little less abrasive. Okay, and that's looking great. Next is one of my favorite features of this bundle, which is a collection of presets you can add on to the global preset we already used. You'll see those listed here as the tool presets. So obviously we already have a little bit of snow falling here and some pretty dramatic movement, but all that snow has the appearance of being behind the subject, and I want to add a little bit of depth between the boy and the viewer. The way we're going to do that is by bringing some snow to the foreground using a tool preset. Suddenly the snow is actually working to create the depth you need for a much more interesting picture while remaining subtle enough not to distract from the subject. In this case, I want to customize the effect for the image by removing one or two of these snowflakes that might be distracting to the viewer, specifically the snowflakes that might distract from the boy's face. And that's looking great! Now for the final touch, we're going to use one of the brush tools that come with the collection. The brush tool will allow for localized adjustments wherever you like. Here we're going to cool off the background by using the Add Blue brush. So you'll click on the brush, set the size, flow, and feather to whatever is going to work for you, and then just come over and start to paint the areas where you would like a bit more blue to cool off the environment. 
And just like that, we went from a more bland, generic photograph to a much more dynamic, beautiful winter portrait. So let's check out another photo. For this picture, we start with a similar problem. The boy himself is looking pretty darn cold, but the color tones just simply aren't communicating that to me. So if we want something that's going to look a bit more convincing, let's try the frostbite preset. And there you go. Already this image went from looking more bland to something much more intriguing. You'll note that the mountainous landscape in the background looks significantly cooler, and the rosiness of the boy's face has been accentuated, and the warmth of light now gives the impression of a sunrise or sunset that's actually helping to bring the boy more into the foreground. Now I still want to do a little bit more with this by affecting and toning the colors in the lower half of the image without putting a whole bunch of blue up in the sky. I want to do it this way because objects are affected by temperature, but empty space largely is not. So let's add on to the global preset we already used and select from our tool presets, cool lower half. You'll see that this gave the objects in the picture a bit more of a cooling effect without any significant alterations to the sky. So now let's check out some brush options. If we go over to brushes and select Brighten Snow Brush, we can bring out some of the highlights, both in the background and foreground, that will help accentuate these wintry tones without greatly affecting the darker tones we'd like to preserve. So select your brush, pick your size, feather, and flow, and begin painting in the areas you'd like to have a bit more of a highlight. And once again, you can see that we've gone from something bland and unconvincing as a winter portrait to something that really captures the color tones of winter in the most flattering of ways. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I recommend that you check out this package, utilize all the tools in it, and really perfect your images for the season. Bye now.